Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, I completely forgot about war. Uh, I did place my defense, but I then forgot. So, it is very late. Very, very late. Uh, we don't have that much time left. Uh, but this is season 31. And this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Rockwater Rebels. All right, so let's go ahead in here. They've already uh, cleared almost everything here. You know, my path, which is path three, is still there. So I'll be able to clear that. And then we've got those two minis up there and the boss. Now, I don't know who I would like to bring in terms of uh, that Ebony Maw. Still trying to think here. It's early in the morning. Uh, just woke up. Uh, this, These guys, I could bring Corvus in, and Corvus can take care of uh, both these guys here. Uh, that's not a problem. I can bring in Spider-Man uh, 2099. And for the third member, I could bring in a Synergy partner for 2099. Um, I could use Corvus for that Human Torch, but I can't use Corvus for Ebony Maw. So I could... I'm not confident enough with uh, Spider-Man 2099 to fight this Ebony Maw, but he can do that fight. It's just that I'm not all that uh, confident uh, using him, but maybe I'll, I'll watch some videos and see if somebody uh, uses Spider-Man 2099, maybe Karate Mike. Uh, against that Ebony Maw, that, that improved power gain. And I know that um, Spider-Man 2099 does have some good power control, but again, I don't know enough. And this high ground, I hate high ground. I really, really do. So I have to think a little bit about that. Um, I could bring in someone else rather than a synergy partner for 2099 to deal with that ebony maw and since ebony maw's uh buff he is much more annoying far far more annoying that that dgen i mean he he does some really nasty uh damage now so trying to find a, a decent counter for him and uh, let's let's take a look at who they've banned because that's going to affect things here. Okay, so they banned Human Torch, and they banned uh, Doom and Warlock. Warlock would have been the only one that I'd have been tempted, but with High Ground, Warlock is not always the best uh, option. So. Um, Corvus and Spider-Man 2099, uh, can go in, no problem, but I don't know. I don't know, uh, who I'm really wanting to bring or that Ebony Maw. Uh, I mean, I could bring in Nick Fury. I can bring in the team that you see there right now and bring in Nick Fury for that one fight and just basically blitz him down. You know, the invulnerability boost won't help against that degen damage. So yeah let me let me uh i'm gonna think about it for a little bit before i jump into this but that's what i'm thinking right now this team 
should be able to handle everything left here is what i'm thinking uh now america chavez i haven't fought her a lot so she could be a little uh tricky have not fought her a lot so i'm not sure let me see yeah i i'm not sure i think at this point i'm not sure how we're doing uh in the war uh i know that neither of us have uh fully explored so there's still some uh deaths to be had uh but yeah so uh we're gonna get to the fighting in a minute here and uh i'm gonna look at a, a couple of videos and see who people use for that ebony maw in that uh corner and then I'll make my decision. So either I'm going in with uh, this team or I'm going to bring in somebody else to handle Ebony Maw. Or maybe um, if Spider-Man 2099 can handle it pretty easily, then I might just bring in a synergy partner for Spider-Man 2099. All right. We'll be uh, right back. All right, we're back. And here's the team that I'm going in with. Uh, this war actually, uh, towards the end, got a little exciting. Uh, you saw the attacker bands. They didn't affect me. Uh, so I'm going in with my planned uh, attackers. Uh, I was mad to see Warlock was on the ban list because, of course, I like using Warlock a lot of the times in war, but... It's all good. It's all good. Um, you saw that I switched out to my six-star Corvus. That's because AQ is not on right now. So I'm able to bring in my uh, six-star Corvus. All right. So first fight, Spider-Gwen. And uh, I don't anticipate any issues with her. And I'm actually hoping that I can get an evade charge off of her. Okay. Now, uh, I had plenty of these boosts. Uh, I ended up selling a lot of them. So this time I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and use them. No other reason to just keep them there, not use them and end up having to sell them. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, advanced power boost, uh, mainly because the faster I can get to a special, the faster the fight can be over. So uh, that special two, that is. So the advanced power boost lets me start at uh, one bar of power. And you see how I was hitting right there? All right, and I got the evade. So I'm like, okay, we just need to knock her down now. Heavy, she evaded out the heavy. All right, now I've got the special two and I'm like, you know what, forget it because I know how the AI will do. That evade, she'll just keep evading. And I could have fired off a special one and knocked her down. But once I saw I was at a special two, I just gave up that plan and said, let's just finish the fight. I'll just not get the evade charge. Um, it, it sucks that they did it that way, that I won't get the charge if I kill her, you know, or defeat her rather um instead of knocking her down during the fight you know it it is what it is that's how he's worked uh since the beginning all right so this fight here not anticipating any issues i will get um a mission on this one we still had that uh boost up so all good got ourselves a, a charge all right no one there They've already gotten the mini. All right, now, here's where it gets a little bit of fun. So, you saw I didn't have a lot of fights. And I have zero energy at this point. I can't get to them. And I'm gritting my teeth at this point. Because I'm like, I got to get to them. So, I go over to line and I type out, hey, if I can get some taxi services, 
then uh, I'll, I'll take out those minis. So I did get a taxi. So I was able to uh, get here and I'm like, all right, I've already done called for Uber. That's what my uh, uh, officer said. They tagged me and was like, your Uber is here. So I was like, all right. So I got back on and I'm like, okay, now I got to show out because I've already made them Uber me to these guys, right? So I'm going to use Nick Fury against Human Torch every chance I get. He's great against him, puts that bleed so that I don't have to worry so much about his temperature. And as you can see here, um, we almost pushed him to a special three. All right, so now I'm trying to get him to fire that special two off. There we go. I didn't decide to try to evade it. Uh, I can evade it, but in war, it, it does some crazy things. So I'm like, okay, we're just going to block. And see how crazy he's going? I'm just like, what? What's going on? Calm down. Torch. Easy, bro. Easy. It ain't that serious. All right. Now, there, I almost evaded it, but I saw I was up against the wall. So I was like, no, we ain't doing that. All right. Got that bleed. Got him down. Shouldn't have been that difficult, but the AI decided to go nuts and get crazy aggressive on me. That's why I like to fight with uh, Nick Fury, because I'm relaxed. All right, and there goes my Uber again, getting me to Ebony Mall. So now, here's something I didn't know. Ebony Mall and that nasty degen damage that he does, it seems to require him to nullify your buffs. I didn't realize that. I knew one of them did, but I thought that his missions, uh, at least one of them, you know, he would have to degen you by uh, nullifying your buff. Well, guess what? Spider-Man 2099 doesn't have any buffs. So I'm like, I want to fight the boss with Spider-Man 2099, but let's go. Boom. Keep him from getting that focus. All right. Here we go. And I've never fought him uh, with Spider-Man 2099 here. So I'm, I was a little cautious. All right. I'm taking a little bit of damage, you know, from my suicides and everything, which I expected. All right. No buffs to uh, nullify to degen me. All right. Lots of damage on that special, too. Uh, I've learned since then that I need to hit into their block and do all kinds of things to get the ruptures up. Um so that I can do more damage on my uh, special two. Uh, but at this time, I didn't know any of that stuff. All right, so you see here, I'm taking quite a bit of damage already. All right, we got that falter, he didn't punish us, so we, were, we actually got lucky. All right, boom, look at that. Burst into damage, and he's down. All right, but look at my health. I'm already like half health, so I, I, I'm happy that I was able to take that fight like that, but I took more damage than I really wanted to. Okay. So that's fine. Now my Uber didn't need to get me to the boss because, the, you know, they were already at the boss. Now I was a little nervous about this fight because I've never fought America Chavez as a boss. And I don't really fight her regularly enough to have a, a, a strong strategy. I remember that she has this um, heavy attack that you don't want to interrupt at the wrong time. So I tend to let her go ahead and um, do her heavy attack and just leave her alone. So I, I'm not sure what I'm doing there. All right. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, because of that, I wanted to make sure I had an invulnerability boost. You never know. I healed up. You know, I'm taking this fight, you know, pretty seriously. I didn't do a 30% boost or anything, but, you know, I'm taking it pretty seriously. All right. So here we go. She already started off with the heavy. Now she has this negative zone up. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's a good thing, bad thing, what I got to watch out for. So you see here, I'm hitting into her block. All right. I know how to evade her specials. 
at least her special one. Um, so here we go. She's taking a good amount of damage and I'm still at 100% of my health. So I'm like getting a little bit more confidence here. Okay. She's down now to um, about 80% of her health. I'm baiting out that special. All right. I don't really want to push her to a special two because I'm not sure about the special two. Okay. Uh, I don't remember if it's um, uh, unblockable or what. But now she's got me up against. She doesn't want to fire it. She just does not want to fire it. So I'm just like, all right, you know, what can we do? All right. That time she finally fired it. But she's at a special two now. So I fired my special two. And look at this. It was unblockable. And I'm at this point, I don't know if I managed to evade it. I didn't see my invulnerability boost charge get used. And I was actually planning to push it to a special three because I knew I had the invulnerability boost. So at this point, okay, yeah, I don't have any of the uh, invulnerabilities. So I'm just like, okay, I'm in trouble now. She got me in the corner. Here she go with that unblockable again. I evaded uh, most of it. I didn't take a lot of damage, you know, because of his ability, 75% damage resistance. All right. But she's got me in that corner and I'm just like, get away from me. I do not like being in that corner. That's why I don't like playing Quake. I don't like being in that corner. And she crowded me. She crazy aggressive. Just keep me in that corner. I'm just like, come on. All right. Here we go again. She's tagging me as I'm going backwards. Here we go. She finally fired that special two off. We're good. And I'm going back in. I'm getting a little bit more familiar, a little more uh, confident here. You know, I'm looking at her health and I'm like, boom, done. So not the prettiest fight. And I'm definitely not an expert Spider-Man 2099 player, but we did get the solo. So you too can get a solo, even if you're not a great Spider-Man 2099 player. So that's going to do it, guys, for this uh, uh, war. And in a moment, we're going to find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. We killed them on uh, the Defender kills. All right. I didn't get MVP or anything like that, but we got them. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.